I just want to say a big thank you for the Abris and all that they've done. I'm truly going to miss them and how much they've impacted my life. They've always been a great blessing to me and my family, and I hope them safe travels and blessings upon their life. Brother Aber, Sister Aber, thank you so much for all you've done um, in my life. I'm so thankful that you guys really took an interest in my life, um, always talking to me, always um, wondering what my dreams, my goals are, and I'm, I just really think that God has put you here um, for the time that you've been here. And um, I really hope that in this next journey that you guys will have an awesome, wonderful time in the Lord. God bless you. So. Abers have impacted me greatly. I remember when Sister Aber took me to Esther's conference, and that was the year I was actually coronated, so it was so good to have her support. And then Brother Aber, I think one of the messages that he taught that really stuck out to me was way back when, where he talked about relationships. Uh, specifically, he kind of talked about how when you're finding a partner, what's most important is finding that spiritual chemistry with your partner. He talked about how you can have uh, mental chemistry, uh, physical chemistry, but all those things don't matter unless you have spiritual chemistry with them. So those are just some of the ways that the Abers have impacted me. Uh, any specific message? I mean, just keep doing what you're doing. I, I hope to visit you guys in Texas. I really want to go, so yeah. Uh, the Abers have impacted me in so many ways. They've, they've taken me up to be able to go to specific events. They've encouraged me to, to do more for God and they've, they've spoken preachings and messages that have turned my life upside down for the kingdom of God. My message for the Abers is uh, we love you and just keep on going. I know the people in Texas, you're going to reach so many more people and God is going to continue to do greater things through you guys. Well, they impacted my life a lot by helping to support my PIM for missionaries for Papua New Guinea. I remember that it was also by Brother Aber's message that I was, you know, I was in church, but I wasn't really saved. Well, saved. <laughs> but it was by his message that I really got a hold of God. Well, just that I'm really going to miss you guys. I'm going to miss seeing Chi Chi, and I'm going to miss babysitting him. And I'm really going to miss you guys so much. I'm going to miss the Abers very much, and I appreciate them for everything they've done for my family and I, and making us very comfortable when we first came. And I love their missionary stories and all the fun things that they did. And then is there anything you want to say to them specifically? Um, the Rivera family is loving you and missing you right now. Love y'all. <laughs> so a way that the Abers have impacted me in my life um, is through many ways. I love seeing Brother Aber and hearing Brother Aber preach on Tuesday nights, talking against um, being laid back and taking a day off or taking your relationship with God um, less seriously. He's, he's totally against that. If anything, he taught me how to contend for the faith or at least reminds me every single Tuesday to contend for the faith and really push forward in your walk with God and to take this seriously. There is a harvest and a field to work on and that can't just be, um, you know, fallen to the wayside and just, you know, not really brought up to mind every single day. We're here for the Lord and for his kingdom and we need to contend for the faith. So is there any specific message you want to give to them? Um, that I'm going to miss them a lot. Um, I know that... I haven't really like talked to them on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but Brother Abra, you have impacted my life so much. Thank you for just following and obeying the word of the Lord and just being brave. Hello, Brother Abra and Sister Abra from the Wells. We just want to say we love you and that you guys have been a huge blessing uh, to our lives. I'm not sure if you remember, but when I first got started here, you gave me a Bible, a study Bible and you put in the scripture, 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approved. And that was something that I adopted. You were, are, excuse me, the best teacher that I have ever met. And I'm just so thankful for all the wisdom and the words that you have instilled in me. Thank you so much, Brother Aber. And thank you, Sister Aber, for supporting me as well in your words of encouragement as well. And I also want to thank you both. Um, you guys were there for us in a really hard time when we suffered the loss of our child and the brother Abra I remember you coming into the hospital and 
quiet, just sitting in the room with us and just waiting for a few hours with my family and just being there, being that presence, praying with us and Sister Aber, keeping everybody updated and everyone in prayer for us. And that meant a lot to us. So we thank you for continuing to uplift us and strengthen us through the years. And as we're expecting another one now, we're blessed to share that news with you. And the Abers have been such a blessing to Praise Tabernacle to everyone at the church. And we're going to miss you all so much. Thank you guys again. We love you. There's just too much I could say about Brother and Sister Aber. I mean, literally, the very first time I ever stepped into Praise Tabernacle was on a Tuesday night when Brother Aber was preaching. And what he preached and taught that night specifically ministered to me. And the Lord closed some doors and opened some doors that very night. And uh, throughout the years I've known him, he has ministered to me. Um, you just such a great man of faith and a great teacher and sister Aber as well such a wonderful anointing with music and singing and for me personally working at a hospice with them and and sister Aber in particular uh, just mentored and helped me and was such a great example is always such a great example of just Christian kindness and grace and great example of faith I uh, I appreciate them more than they know I just wanted to say that we love and appreciate the Abers. Um, for me, especially Sister Aber, I appreciate her mementos and her special time she's taken with me through the years. Um, the f times they've opened up their home to us and we visited and had cell groups and gone out to eat with them. And also Brother Aber for his teaching and his jokes and his <laughs> constant smiles. We appreciate him and love him. Brother Aber, just want to say love you, appreciate you. Um, in the short time that I've got to know you, one thing I could say is that you are a man's man, and I'm just thankful for the way you've preached the word, and you preach it with truth and in righteousness and in love, and thank you for all that you've done in the short time that I've been um, with you, and also through all these years that you've imparted into my wife. Thank you, Sister Aber, for being a godly example to my wife and all that you've done. God bless you, love and appreciate you. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Brother Aber, um, thank you for all that you've done for me. You've been here since I was a teenager and I am so thankful to God for the time that I've had to learn from you and grow from you and just to see um, what a man of God looks like. Thank you for how you um, have just put so much into me the word of God and just have always encouraged me. Thank you, Sister Aber, for being such a godly woman. I look up to you throughout all these years. I appreciate all that you've done to encourage the ladies. And I look up to you, your whole marriage, you and Brother Aber, wonderful couple. I'm gonna miss you guys so much. I love you both. And I can't wait to see what God does with you in Texas. Brother Aver, Sister Aver, I don't know what we're going to do without you guys. You guys have meant so much to us, more than we can even say. From our banter in the back, Brother Aver, you're like a second dad to me. You, you just, you treat me like one of your kids with my kids. They're like your grandkids. And we're so excited for all the new things God has in store for you. But we're so sad that you're not going to be here. And we're going to miss you a lot. And we're going to come visit you in Texas and see all your horses and all your property. And we'll help you figure out which side of your face your microphone goes on. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye. Bye. Can you tell me in a nutshell how the Abers have impacted your life as a minister? Uh, the Abers have impacted uh, my life as a minister by, I would probably say, uh, their character. Just just watching them. I mean, Brother Aber would get up and preach, but I think the thing that preached about uh, the Abers was the life that they lived. They were, they are people uh, that want to be right before God and that want to do the right thing. And something that Brother Aber had encouraged me, and it was, it was a very simple piece of advice. It was actually the first time that we had uh, gotten together, uh, so that way I could prepare a, a message. And Brother Aber goes like this. He goes, Brother Adam, he said, if you're ever going to do anything, I said, yes, Brother Aber. I'm waiting for this big old thing of wisdom to come out. He goes, do the right thing. And so that has stuck with me for the past, I wanna say maybe 12, 13 years. Um, the way that they've impacted my children. You know, we don't have family out here, uh, but the Abers have loved on my children as though 
you know, uh, they were, they were like relatives or something, you know. So I, I, I am so grateful to have been able to have them in our lives for the last uh, 13 years. Say specifically to the Abers? Yeah, uh, brother and sister Aber, uh, we love you so very much. And uh, this is kind of a, a bittersweet thing, you know. Um, we are going to miss you very terribly. You know, there's not going to be any, uh, I guess you could say, like a big brother to go and, and mess around with me and stuff. However, we know that, that you are, uh, you will be going where God has you. And so uh, we love you very much, and we appreciate uh, all that you've uh, meant in our lives. Thank you. We love you. And if you, get, if you keep Jesus first, everything is going to be all right.